couple of things. It's like, okay, where do I put contour color? Okay, this is a really cool way and very easy way to apply color. So I take the darkest color, okay, and you take a look at the eye and you see where you want to pull and you want to create the shape. So I just take a look at it, open your eyes, and look at me. And so in the mirror, when you do it for yourself, you can actually tap it in where you want to create the shape. Okay? Then you're going to do a marking. So therefore, you know where you can create the color. So today we're going to use, of course, the easiest one is the V shape, or they call it the fish tail. So from that shape, you're going to come in starting with the most concentration here and we're going to create a V shape and this is really fantastic for any eye shape um, whether you have Asian eye, big eye, small eyes this is a great technique and you can actually balance it
there's two ways that you can apply. I actually just like darken the lash uh, versus doing the line, which you can also do. It depends on your eye shape, depends on you know what kind of look you're trying to convey. We can definitely go darker, but we can have definitely um, wet this and it becomes a cake liner and you can do like a really nice high fashion cat eyes. Um, another question that I get a lot asked of is do I apply the bottom liner or not? So once again it's about personal preference um, and it depends what you wanted to do. But today I'm going to show you how it looks, the difference between with and without because I think a lot of women are intimidated because of too much color but I think if, if you darken it it really does bring out your eyes and they make it very beautiful. Open and look after me. And once again using the dapping motion and you just kind of darken the lash. Some people like to go into the tear duct all the way back or you can just go halfway to create more of a day, more a conservative look. But if you want to go out at night from the office and definitely you can actually line to the tear duct and then you can line from the tear duct out and create more of a smoky look. So normally I like to start here and then I kind of pull the product into here giving it like a fading effect, so dark here and it goes light and it fades out to about three quarter over. So now you can see her eyes actually stands out. We can do something fun. So this is a typical step to get an everyday eye look. But today we're going to add a fun color because in Imani we have different colors that you're able to use. So it depends on uh, your fashion, what you're wearing. Because someday you feel pink, someday you feel green, someday you feel wild and you want to go blue. <laughs> this is a great way for you to express your fashion uniqueness. So today, I'm going to pick Urban Ice. Urban Ice is one of my favorite color because it's like a blue gold. Okay. Now with these, it's really fabulous in a sense that you can actually um, not only use this as an eyeshadow, but you can wet the brush and you can actually line. And we're going to come back and we're going to use a brush that looks like this, very much like this. Use the lid to make sure the powder is in the brush because a lot of the time when you use powder, and you don't do this, it drops onto your face. It's kind of a mess, okay? Now when you look at it, and she's probably going, oh my goodness, it's blue. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do a very nice light shade, and just to give her eye a little bit of hint of glitter. Close your eyes, baby. And what I like to do is just right here in the highlight area. Open, let me see. Okay, close. Open. Now you see the difference between the depth of something basic and something that kind of add a little highlight. Now another really cool thing to use the color dust is when you line your eyes, you can actually put this on top of the liner and it creates that beautiful three-dimensional So my favorite part to do is once the eyes are done, as you know, I didn't put powder on her before I did it because what I wanted to do is do her eyes first, then do the powder. There's a couple of things. Let's say if you're doing a really dark, smoky eye, do you know how a lot of the black powder falls onto your cheeks? So a lot of the times when I do that, I actually do it on a clean face. Do the eye first. 
because I don't care how much it falls off. I take a makeup wipe, I clean everything off, and then I do my base. Okay? So that's another really cool way if you want to play with it. And also if you make a mistake, you don't have to worry about, oh my god, my face is ruined. You can just clean it off and start all over again. Now this is an Imani Compact. Okay? Um, we actually won a Beauty Guide uh, Best Foundation of the Year in 2007 when it first came out. And this is a very beautiful finish. It comes with an antibacterial sponge. You notice it sits on the bottom compartment because you don't want to have all of that on here. This one you can also wash out. Okay? And it's, I just love it. I think it's a nice, nice packaging. Also, what's really cool is that we inject the plastic with an additive. It actually breaks down faster in the environment. You can wear it by itself with a moisturizer.